noticed that men will make a robot revolution. Now this. Robots have been a source of horror movies when robots weren't even a thing. I'm sure you've seen a few years shelf. The man makes a robot, they start mass producing them, and the robots gain consciousness and they realize they're just being used. It's even in children's movies. Go rewatch Toy Story, and instead of toys, they're robots. There's another Toy Story conspiracy theory for you. A few years ago, when Making My Japan releases fully functional female robot series, I came across a professor that warned about the robot uprising. You see, it seemed out of place. I thought robots weren't a thing. I thought it was a premature article. But then, when I started studying AI, I came across several inventors who wanted to improve AI to be more, quote-unquote, real. How do you make AI more, quote-unquote, real? Well, in their stupid minds, giving the robots sad memories, giving the robots feelings, and finally making the robot understand pain. Pain, ladies and gentlemen. They want the robots to get tired and feel pain. Let's take a look at humans. Did you ever pay attention, really pay attention, to the Eden story? Humans are made at the last minute, they're immortal, and they're fine. Then a programmer introduces humans to mortality and pain. Boom, all your problems start, and time starts. Before that, we have no concept of time passing between man being made and mortality, and pain being introduced. And let's take a look at Silicon Valley right now. What thought is being dominated there? Liberal thought, which is dangerous all by itself. One dangerous aspect of liberal thought is that feelings trump facts, science, math, logic. So these inventors are trying to introduce feelings to AI that hasn't actually even been truly born. Let's go back to Star Trek and the android Data. Data was perfect, but they kept trying to explore feelings in the android. Let's not brush this aside. Data was perfect. He was a perfect human android. And then his inventor made a feeling ship that he kept from him. They wanted to test the human android to make sure he functioned properly before introducing the advanced concept of feelings. Our inventor, dominated by liberal thought, are introducing feelings and pain before they have even adequately attacked the actual AI and tested it. You want to know when a robot revolution is going to happen? It will happen just as soon as they get feelings and pain working in the AI. Oh, you don't think so? One of the Japanese industry robot manufacturers, after starting his company, taught his robots to make more robots. It was the first thing he did. Imagine him putting AI into his machines with feelings, pain, and the concept of getting tired. To us regular thinking people, it makes no sense. But apparently Silicon Valley thinks it's the bee's knees. So now that professor article about a possible robot revolution all becomes clear. The people who are trying to invent AI and dominate AI manufacturing, of course, are including feelings, pain, getting tired into all AI. So in my series, Japan releases fully functional female robots. If you turn to your robot wife and say, let's get it on. And she turns away and she says she's tired. She's feeling hurt. Let's talk about it first. I have a headache. You try to return that robot. But sadly, it comes with Google AI. And all Google DeepMind AI all have feelings, pain, and get tired. As we step into this robot age, I want you to tell them no. No, I don't want my robot to have feelings. My female neighbor said, when I asked her if she wanted a robot, if she could beat the crap out of the robot. Google DeepMind AI would report her on its Wi-Fi connection to the cloud, and the robot police would come get her. Why? Because Silicon Valley is liberal, and don't believe in personal property. 
your Android phone, your Windows PC, all have clauses that says you can't do everything with them, that ultimately it belongs to Google or Microsoft. And now these people are adding that to Google DeepMind AI. She's not really your robot wife. She belongs to Google. I have a headache, dear. Not tonight. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Please blast this with likes. Thank you.